You will need a power drill and a number two square drive bit. Included in your hardware package, 12 4 inch bugle head screws, 12 1 3 quarter inch lag screws, two 2 and a half inch bugle head screws, a 5 30 second hex head bit, and an Allen wrench. Place the unopened box on a flat work surface. We advise working on a furniture blanket or a soft work surface. Open box from the top side. Be sure to fully open all three flaps to avoid contact between furniture and staples. Remove furniture pieces from box and lay on work surface. This will include a right arm and leg assembly, left arm and leg assembly, back, seat, front brace, and two back braces. Lay the right arm leg assembly facing down onto the work surface. Attach the arch brace to the front of the arm and leg assembly. Next, attach the two back braces, fitting the mortise and tenons of the two pieces together. Fasten using 4 inch bugle head screws in the pre-drilled holes. Next, rotate the chair onto its side. Place the back support into the groove of the leg assembly and line up with the pre-drilled screw holes. Fasten using 1 and 3 quarter inch lag screws. Place the seat assembly in between the front and back brace. Make sure to line up the pre-drilled holes. Fasten the seat assembly to the leg assembly using four one and three quarter inch lag screws. Attach the left arm leg assembly to the seat and back, fitting the mortise and tenon of the two pieces together. Fasten using four inch bugle head screws. Rotate chair. Fasten back to the arm and leg assembly using one and three quarter inch lag screws. Fasten seat and left arm leg assembly using four one and three quarter inch bugle head screws. Rotate chair to its upright position. Fasten arm assembly to the back using two and a half inch bugle head screws. Repeat on the other side. Finally, place the poly plugs into all of the holes. 